2015 was a big year for Richard and his longtime girlfriend, Mary Forrest. That was the year that they got married and they also welcomed his son, Henry. Okay, here it is, here comes the ball. When the couple looks back, they can see that there were certain signs right from the get-go that something was wrong. In the early stages of development, most babies don't frankly do very much. You know, two months old and three month old babies don't, don't do that much. So if he was delayed or wasn't delayed, it, would be, it was very hard to tell. But as he got older, six-month-old babies start to do quite a bit. Year-old babies do a lot. And when he wasn't developing well, we did the same early, it was stage about, as everyone else, we, we were getting increasingly concerned. But it was we, about three or four months, though, when we did start because of the weight gain and the fact that he had low muscle tone, so which caused him to not be able to to eat enough, so yeah. we started early on. Over the course of the year, they had mounting concerns about their son's developmental delays, and that led them to ultimately go in for genetic testing. When Richard first got the call, he was actually abroad in South Korea. The doctor had said, can you call me, we have the results. And he said, well, it's, it's, not, it's not good, we have a result, and um, this is a genetic mutation, it's quite serious. So I started asking questions like, well, how, how serious is he ever gonna be able to to walk? Is he going to be able to go to school? Is he going to be able to read and write? And the doctor was like, well, we're talking about special school and he's going to have a very difficult kind of life. And, and that's when I realized, no, this was not just a late bloomer. This was a, this was a problem that, that wasn't going away. 